It is 2024. Wow. Wow. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Quartz Rinse with Machine. So for today's video, we are doing a 2023 recap. Okay, so we are saying bye to 2023 and welcoming 2024. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Justine. And if you're a returning subscriber, you already know it is all love. Thank you so much for your love and support, you guys. I truly, truly appreciate you. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. It is free, the notification bell on. So you can get notified every single time I upload a new video because this year, this year, we need to work on consistency, okay? So y'all, at first I wanted to sit and, you know, write things down that I will be talking about in this video, but I decided not to do that. I decided to just go off my head, you know, off the top of my head because I like being honest, real, raw with you guys. So I'm here to tell you guys about my 2023 year and tell you guys a bit about what I'm thinking about as far as 2024. Okay, but I'll be focusing more on very minor stuff like my, not minor, but like things that I can share, you know, like my business and a little bit of my business and more about the channel. But yeah, y'all. So 2023, 2023 was a year. Okay. So when I think about 2023, that's how I feel like, okay, a lot of great, amazing things that happened in 2023. And also I've had a few things that one the best for 2023 but i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna sit here and act like my 2023 wasn't good it was actually pretty good but like i said i'm human just like everybody you know there's ups and downs in life so i had more ups than downs so i'm grateful for that i thank god let's start with um beginning of the year we were newly wed like hubby and i went and got married in cameroon if you guys haven't seen those videos make sure you guys go check it out i'll put the eye up here we went and did our traditional wedding and our um church wedding in cameroon mind you we have been married since 2020 but it was during the pandemic you guys know how things were you couldn't travel you couldn't do much so we did our court wedding in 2020 and end of 2022 we went to cameroon and did our church and traditional wedding so that was amazing okay so we came back newly wedded like everything was going great amazing 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 so i posted some videos here on youtube as well like i said make sure you guys are checking the eye up here so you guys can check out some of our you know wedding videos and watch the rest okay because i i can guarantee you that the wedding those wedding videos pretty nice okay so that happened we're newly wedded so we came back you know I decided to do a vision board and once again thank to god i can say that most of the things i put down on my vision board happened this year then um last year we also purchased our dream home which is where i'm at right now and uh, we purchased our dream home we also became landlords okay we became landlords for our first property and that feeling amazing okay amazing okay we are so young and we are doing pretty well thanks to god once again everything that is going on in my life right now i give god the glory i give him all you know the 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 the, the most up respect because everything we got going on is you know by god's grace so yeah we became landlords we purchased our dream home and then um fast forward we also celebrated our nine year relationship anniversary and our three-year wedding anniversary um court wedding of course on september 9th you know so that was great as well and uh, we all like i said they were ups and down sadly last year we had three losses that i will not talk about here like i'm not ready to talk about that now so the sad part was the fact that we had three losses last year like i said i'm not ready to talk about it maybe one day i'll talk about it i'm pretty sure one day i will talk about it but we're not going to talk about it yet, um on this video going details so yeah we had three losses last year that was the sad part you know so i first started with all the happy things and i'll tell you guys about the sad part and also i wasn't the most consistent here on youtube you guys last year i wasn't the most consistent and there was a time where I started, you know, being consistent. Then I gave up. That's something we need to work on for this year, okay? We need to really work on being consistent. We are almost at 7,000 subscribers. And my goal was to hit 10,000 subscribers in 2023. It did not happen. But 
at least we grew you know we grew for by a couple thousands and for that i'm grateful and um what was next that i want to share with you guys oh on my vision board i wrote down that i want to get closer to god in 2023 which i did okay so hallelujah amen i did that um purchase a new property we did that it was also it was also on my vision board um get a new job now your girl is employed <laughs> you guys know that at first i was fully social media and business i wasn't doing anything else you know my business my business is still doing pretty good i won't say my business was doing good it's still doing pretty good it actually grew and um now i have people that are actually purchasing my stuff to resell now i have representative in different places of the world like i said glory be to god for that um now i was able to land a new opportunity a new job you guys i told you guys that i wanted to get a new job because now my business had more helpers like i was able to get help like i said instead of sending my packages to europe now i have someone there that actually you know send out packages and also sells um my products out there and um we are growing that's what I'm gonna say. We are growing, so my business grew even more, which was in my vision board. And also now I have a job. Your girl is employed. I now have a nine to five. I run a business. I'm a wife. I'm a social media influencer. Like I have a lot of hats that I'm wearing right now, and I love it. Okay, I love it. All right. So what else happened that I can share with you? Ooh, how could I forget social life? Okay. In 2023, I became more of a stay-at-home person. And I would go like this. Sorry if the light is not the best right now. Actually, let me see if I can fix it. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Because I'm using natural lighting. And this is the most it can go. I hope you guys can still see me. But um, social life. Last year, I became more of a stay-at-home person, okay? Because... People have shown us, I would say us, because I'm talking about my husband and I, have shown us the true colors. So we decided to just keep to ourselves a bit more than usual. You know, we're still cool with certain people, but we're not out there like that anymore. So my social life. Um, at the beginning of the year in January, I cut off one of my oldest friendship in America. I cut the girl off. I was tired of the toxicity. It was too toxic. It was too much going on. And I decided to cut her off, put her aside. She tried to fix things, rekindle things, came to my house. She trying to talk to me. I wasn't ready, and I'm still not ready, and I'm still not going to. You know, I've forgiven her, you know, because I'm a Christian. You know, I forgive those that hurt me, but it's the type of forgiveness that, it's the type of forgiveness that you do not go back to. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I forgive you, but you're good over there. I'm good over here. So it's that type of thing. So I have forgiven her, and I'm pretty sure she's going to watch my videos because you know <laughs> she's gonna watch my videos let me just keep it like that so girl i forgive you like i know you know what you did was effed up that's why you tried to come back i forgive you but i just think it's best that you know we stay the way we are and like i said it was a hard 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 friendship breakup because it was my longest friendship in america like i'm talking about i've been friends with this girl for over 12 years uh-huh over 12 years so life happened you know found out something she wasn't she was a snake let me just say that and she had done so many snake stuff and i forgave her forgive her forgive her but this time around we're not forgiving and welcoming her back in this time we are forgiving and leaving her where she's at so there's this saying that says when someone shows you the true colors believe it okay I'm talking about so many people in my surroundings were telling me about this person. And I kept, you know, telling them, oh, I don't, you guys don't know what you're talking about. Like, leave my friend alone. But, baby, I found out that she was a true snake. You know, like I said, I've been knowing it. But it was just hard for me to let go of that friendship because of all the years and all the things we have done together. You know, it was hard. But I feel like moving also helped a lot. Because because we used to live around the same place, it was easier for her to just pop up and um i apologize apologize until i give in but now that i move this girl don't know where i stay at this girl don't know nothing about me and i'm happy that it's like that people that know where we stay now are people that we still cool with okay 
if you know where we stay now, that means we are cool with you or your family. Or maybe you snuck your way into getting an address. Other than that, <laughs> not everybody know where we stay. So that happened. Like I said, we people showed us our true colors because I also wanted to mention the fact that, you know, Hobby also had his own thing going on. But like I said, that's for him to share. Um, someone that was also a snake around him. But that's for him to share, like I said. And um, that happened as well. Um, the reason why I'm even mentioning it, it be is because the person were like, like the person became like a couple friend. Like you guys know, like you can have a friend and you guys all become cool, like your uh, wife become cool with your friend type of thing. So it was more like a, it was hobby's friend, but it, that person became a couple friend. So that happened as well. Right now we don't have any problem. Let me say that. I don't have any problem with the person. He apologized as well. We forgave him. And we just decided that, you know, that closeness we used to have is no longer going to be there. But um, there's that. What else happened in 2023? Let me think. Oh, family. Family. You know, I learned that family, you know, is it's important. Family is great and family is amazing. But I will have also been hurt by family in 2023. Family hurting me. Family said some messed up stuff um, about me, whether I heard it outside or found out about it. Yeah, um, family have said some stuff about me outside that I've heard, like I said, or found out that really broke me. Um, so yeah, I found out that family is important. Family is sacred. Family is amazing, but you still need to be careful with certain family members especially when they're a bit toxic so that's one thing i learned in 2023 2023 was a year it was it was good and um i just pray and hope that 2024 is even better you know we were blessed in abundance in 2023 like god really showed out for my husband and i and i'm forever grateful you know and um like i said i pray and hope that 2024 is even better Besides the three losses, the family and friendship betrayals that we had going on, everything was amazing. Everything was amazing. Like I said, life comes with ups and downs. And the amount of up we had last year and downs is definitely a big difference. Like, you know, so for that, I'm grateful and I'm forever, forever, you know, giving the glory to God. I got closer to God by, you know, praying and stuff, but... We are not attending a church where we stay at, so that's also amazing. Um, I need to mention that, yes, we do attend a church where we stay at. Great church, like, when we go there, we actually feel connected to the church, and um, we love that. Um, so, Hobby and I's faith is growing even more, even stronger, and we are also growing as a couple even stronger. Like, mind you, as far as my marriage go, everything has been great since the beginning, like, next Ah, not next year. This year, we're going to be celebrating our 10th wedding anniversary. Oh, my God. It's been so long. It doesn't even feel like it. Like, when you're with a great person, let me just say that. When you're with a great person, when you're with, you're like, when your partner is amazing and you're true, truly giving person, like, God has literally brought this person in your life for a really true reason, that person will bring peace to you any and every time and like i said since the beginning my marriage my relationship has been amazing it has been great of course couples have issues of course couples have problems but it hasn't been the type of problem that makes me want to leave him or anything like that so for that i'm grateful as well so yeah my husband is amazing he has always been amazing so i never need to mention that to you guys but i'm saying when god has ordained somebody for you or sent you a true soulmate you feel it you know it you know it doesn't feel forced so that's a little advice I'm giving you guys that are out there still in the dating world or engaged or want to be married. So you will feel it. You can tell this person is for me. Like, because love doesn't hurt. That's one thing I always tell people. Love doesn't hurt. And my husband has been bringing me peace since the beginning. And um, I'm grateful for his life. I'm grateful for him. I've also started working out, y'all. <laughs> if you guys follow me on Snapchat or Instagram, Make sure you guys follow me there. I'll put it down here for your convenience. And it will also be linked um, in the description box for your convenience to just go and click and add your girl. 
But yeah, I started, sorry y'all, my dog is scratching herself. And it's getting so dark. I turned on the light at the back because my, it was getting darker and darker in here. Like I said, I'm using natural lighting. So I'm gonna cut this off real soon, but yeah, your girl started working out. This is my fourth month of being consistent in working out five times a week. And um, I feel amazing, I feel great. And yeah, y'all, that's it. Other than that, I'm just, you know, here for 2024, y'all. So I'm posting this the first week of 2024 because, you know, you guys have already been in the new year and um, you guys are already feeling 2024. I hope everything you have said you wanted to do for 2024, you have started working on it. If not, you, had, you have a plan of how you will accomplish those things. And um, happy new year, you guys. Happy new year. May this year be blessed with everything your heart desire may god watches over you your projects your life everything you put your mind to you can do it always remember everything you put your mind to you can do it as long as you have god so make sure you guys are truly working on your resolutions on everything you have you know put down for 2024 make sure you are truly putting your best foot forward so you can make it happen so by next year you know, God willing, when we sit down to this video, you guys can be in the comment telling me how your year was. And also, do comment down below, you know, how 2023 was for you. I want to hear it. Like, I really want to hear it. And we can chat in the comment sections. YouTube is like my little dairy, so I'm happy that I'm putting this video out there. So next year, God willing, like I said, when I come back with my 2024, you know, year resolution, I can look back and be like, oh, yeah. Like, this was happening this year, this was happening this year, and it's like my little, you know, journal. Like, I'm not a big journaler, I don't write a lot, so I don't know if that's a word, journaler, I don't know. But yeah, I don't really write like that, so me coming here and, you know, putting it out there, telling you guys how my year was. My memo card was full, so I had to delete some stuff so I can finish up this video, and it's getting really, really dark. Like, the lighting here is not giving no more, so... I really pray and hope that 2024 is an amazing year for you guys. And my goal for my business is, of course, for my business to grow, for more people to, you know, use our products. If you guys don't know about my business, I do have a website, www.curveuniverse.com. I'll put it right here. And the link will be down below for your convenience. I'll pin it in the comments. So I'll pin the link to my website in the comments. We have different things. We have weight loss teas. We have skincare products. And so many amazing things on there. We have, a, we have men beard oils. So many great things so definitely check out our website and you know go shop go shop support your girl so of course i want to grow my business and that's as much as i can share about my business but as far as youtube i want to be more consistent like i mentioned earlier i want to be more consistent i've seen one or two videos a week you know i want to um reach 10,000 subscribers by my birthday my birthday is march 6th and I'm almost at 7,000 subscribers, you know. I feel like it's a stretch, but I really want that to happen for myself. So I'll just put it out there. And um, I feel like with me being consistent and you guys, of course, supporting, sharing, liking, commenting, that can happen. And, um, yeah, y'all, I want to also get to know more, you know, social media YouTuber friends so we can, you know, help each other work with each other and not, not necessarily collab, but more like give each other advice and you know things like that because i feel like it's always great to have someone do what you do so you guys can easily you know communicate of course when i tell my actual friends about it you know they'll try to understand but i feel like it's different when you have some people that are actually doing the same thing as you so yeah that's that's my goal for the channel you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching if you watched this far definitely leave me a heart down below so i can leave a heart back if you have watched the whole video leave a heart okay leave a heart down below so i know you watched this far and you can just wish me a happy new year because i'm wishing you a happy new year so happy new year to you and comment down below comment down below how your 2023 year was i cannot wait to read it and we can chat in the comment section and thank you guys for all your love and support for everyone that's new here welcome welcome thank you for subscribing and for my returning subscribers you already know it is all love thank you so much for your love and support the lighting is no longer the best so i will leave you guys right here i'll catch you guys on my next one Happy New Year. Bye-bye.